What? What's going on, Opinionated family? We are back for another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. Again, I sound like a whack ass radio host. I hate doing this all the time. I know I always say that. Yeah, but it's just that I, shit, man. We just need to get in the Nah, 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 nah. I, I, that's that's, that's just me. I'm going to say that every single you time. You sound like Kevin Hart when Kevin Hart introduces himself to that comedy show. Nah, I don't Welcome to Kevin Hart's comedy with whomever. I'm your host, Kevin Hart. And today we got... Nah, nah. just get your talk on. I'm getting my talk on, man. I got to be by. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas cracking on me because I'm, I'm I'm with the Levi shit today. Good but um, today, man, we're going to break down why it's fucking dating harder for guys than it is for women. Maybe it's because we like titties and ass and, and a beautiful face. You know, I don't think it's a lot of women. Going, I don't think it's a lot of women just going around, you know, you don't always wear pants with your dick print shown. So it's hard for them to just look at something to visually focus in on. But they, you know, I'm just saying with, with them, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying with women, it's easier because you visually like, damn, I'm, I, she look good as a motherfucker. Well, guys, I guess the muscles maybe, but if you're a big dude, you might have that problem. I don't like that you looked at me when you said that. I'm a big dude myself, but it's, you know, placed on us. It's a, it's a lot of higher expectations for men than it is for fucking women when getting into dating. Right? They always want us to be the initiator, you yeah. know. You know, it creates that yeah. pressure and that anxiety for us. Like, you're like, God damn, like, and you know, that, that right there, that higher expectation of what you're supposed to be. Do, are you the one for her to at least talk to her? Oh, I, I know we got a, a way to go about this, but let me ask you a question first. When was All the right. first time you remember talking, like approaching a girl or a woman? I know exactly when I did it. Man, I, we were young. Yeah. Yeah. Started talking to girls at like 13. I was about 12. <laughs> she might have been younger than that for me. Yeah, I'm about to say that. <laughs> like but the first time, no, no, first time can, you I saw don't know somebody, how, you fine. saw the girl and you said, you know what? Somebody either your boys get you with this, or you straight up walked over to her and said, Hey, what's up? My name is XYZ. Uh, I saw you from over there. And what was your game? Oh, like a random John? A random. Because when we were younger, we more than likely talked to girls that we already knew, not you know, trash. I mean, no, I we were to young, random. young. I'm talking about like when Kev was talking about like before 13, wasn't really no game involved. You were you were hollering at girls that you knew from school already, or uh, talking to. I think talking to random women started when nah, we nah. started actually going places. Nah, probably nah, nah, not me. Not They're me. probably like 13 or 14 for me talking to random women. I think it was like 12 for me. I think I went. No, it was it was like. Maybe they're twelve. I think the, she was just she was just a cute girl at a at a cookout I went to. It was a it was a cookout we was invited to, and she was just a cute girl there. And my whole game plan was to play, make her laugh, make her have a good time, play some tag or whatever, make her feel that ease. And then sli- Kevin ended the night off with catch a girl, freak a girl. <laughs> Fifteen playing ten. <laughs> ten years old. I said ten. I said ten. ten oh, like okay, a, right. I said like a, ten years old. Girl, I said I started girl. young. I started young. It's like 10, 11 For years sure. old. So you just I, she was just cute. I knew. Okay. I just was like at the end of the barbecue. I was like, this is you. You do the dumb shit, y'all. This is my girlfriend now. Like you know, y'all not going to be boyfriend. But this is my girlfriend. This shit's not going to last <laughs> no it. longer than this barbecue. <laughs> yeah, no. But I just chased her around. Though I just chased her around all day till I finally we finally had like a moment to talk and everything. And like, I like got to say, hey, I like you. You know, you go gonna be my girl. Are you gonna be my girlfriend? And she laughed and giggled and said yes. But it was like you knew it went no farther my than brother? this barbecue. Yo, I respect said- that story. That is not the question I asked. So, <laughs> well, you talking about talking? Like, what you mean talking to a girl? I just explained it. You Running game over to the. You walk. You see a rando, not at a barbecue. Well, maybe at a barbecue. She a was ran, a, random. a random girl. You walk. You walk up to her and talk your game. Then that's 13, 14, dog. That's that's that's, 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 teen, that's teenager. Well, like, when I was able to travel, play, like when we when we first started taking the buses to the malls and stuff like that. I think that's when I first actually started. <laughs> Hollering at random girls trying to get their number, talk to them later on. You know what I mean? But we, but we also had cheat codes back in the day. Remember the loop? <laughs> remember the loop? Yeah, remember that was that. the ultimate talk to a random. 
<laughs> you don't know what you getting. It was like it was like roulette. <laughs> yeah, well, me and Kev is lost in that game of roulette. Of Hoochie roulette. Before. <laughs> we got yeah, you got you got crackheads, fiends, Hoochie all types of shit. Like I don't, even, I can't remember what game I used back then. I don't even think I was using like the corny. What's your name? What's your son? I think it was like yo. I think it was like what's your name? Where you from? Type shit. You that know? was that was the basis yeah. of conversation. Where you from? Hey, what you do? Oh yeah. I ain't have no, no job. No, no. You know, you know what it was? Because we always would go out in a group, number one. There's always a group of us. The one person, Ken, would always try to send me. You know what I mean? And, and then you go up and, you, and when you talk to him, you'll be like, yo, you got some friends? You know what I mean? Yo, you got friends? <laughs> Once you make it a group thing, you know what I mean? You, you got to peel back the layers because if she got friends with her, you know what I mean? You throw your homies on the friends. Now you got that one-on-one. You know, it's always somebody hating on the sideline. They ain't getting talked to. <sighs> somebody got to take something for the team. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah, Yo, we've know, all been that guy taking one for the team. You know, I but, just you seen the other day, my man, our, our homie Dom's in hotter than a lot of man. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> I remember I was talking to I was talking to his nephew. I said, I remember getting girls' numbers at the mall when I was younger and just pat like, yo, you like her, Don? He was like, Yeah. And I would just go back her number and just hand this nigga. Hey, yo, I remember, I remember you did that one time and Shorty came back and snatched her number back. Sorry, Dante. She snatched her shit back. Like, what are you doing? No. I was like, oh shit. That was that was my man's. Like, I think I, I had a gift of gab since I was younger to talk to females. So it was easy. So it's shit like that I would just do for sport. But like it would be some Jones out there that was intimidating that I'll be like, what am I gonna say to her? That's the best ones. You crazy. I thought I was like 12. Saw a chick walking down my uh my I remember it. Cause it's the first time I got up enough guts to do it. I saw a girl walking down the street. I said, "Damn, she look all right." My cousin. It might have been my cousin. My cousin Willie. I'm about to say, wait, what? <laughs> he said she look good. My cousin. I'm about no, to no, say, no, 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 no. I'm saying like I was with my cousin. I said, "Damn, she look good." He was like, "Go well, talk to her." You know them niggas. Like they be doing it all the time. All right, whatever. So I go up and talk to her. I remember I had a starter jacket on. I was drawing. Starter jacket on. I had like some type of weird. Remember niggas used to wear the things that looked like wave caps, but they was hats. It was we- I was weird. Oh, bro. oh, I know the joint you're talking about. The ones LL Cool J was wearing. In yeah. The oh my yeah, god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the joint you're talking about. Yeah, the nigga, I was in the way. It was like it was a cap that like it was had, a like cap. Nike on that shit. <laughs> yeah. And it was like it had the wave cap on top. Oh, snap. <laughs> I know the joint when the goggles was hot. When yeah. niggas oh. used to wear the goggles and match with oh, this shit. Oh, tried to be in the Diddy video. Yo, uh, I was drawing like like somebody. I think my dad <laughs> gave it to me that day. I just had it on. And I went over there and talked to her. I did the same thing. Hey, what you, hey, how you doing? What's your name? All right, my name Andre. Da, 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 and, and you go over the whole thing, and you get the number. I remember that. I was like 12, and I got her number. I don't think I ever saw her again after that, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> might, have been, might have been a wave cap. I, think, nah, I got shut down. I got shut down. I was. I remember like somebody gave me a shorty number, and I ran smooth game over the phone for weeks, and it was time to meet up. I had just went to the lake and she said she had called and she, she the girl said, Yo, my cousin's down. She's ready to see you. I had just went to the lake, hopped in the shower. Anybody know anything about lake water in New Jersey or oh. Atlantic City? You cannot get un to be unashy. It takes like two weeks to be, I don't care how much lotion, it takes like two weeks to not be ashy no more. You ain't learned, you ain't learned the trick. That's <laughs> or, what it was. Or, you know, or, not, or you open your eyes under the water and now your eyes is bloodshot red. So, <laughs> dog, I, t- I hopped in the tank, put mad lotion on me. By the time I walked to the corner to where she was at, I'm like, yo, I'm getting ashy again. But I'm saying, you know what? I've been running game tour for all week long. I'm like, but shit, Kev, you ain't got a fresh cut. Fuck it. You've been talking to her. And then she sees me. Sees me. I come out there with the freshest thing I have on. But I'm kind of ashy, and I don't have a fresh cut. Should have wore the wave cap. This was not the nigga. <laughs> I should have wore a hat. This was not the nigga she was expecting to pull up. I'm like, dog, you just played me. I've been talking to you for weeks now, and I finally, and she was bad, so Kev knows who she was. I ain't going to say her name more here. I'm like, yo, she shot me down. Like, I've been trying to get out this girl for weeks, and I've been talking to her for weeks through her cousins and shit, and we've been, like, the conversation on the phone been good. Mm-hmm. But I came out there ill-prepared for the situation. <laughs> we've, all, we've all been there, sir. 
We've all been there. got smashed. You're like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm like, and then she's like, are oh, you dirty little dick? I'm like, yo, I'm not dirty. Like, this is just a one off. She's like, what about a. It's like a lake. Ever... <laughs> hey, right? <laughs> this is just a one off. You, you ever go to like a party or go to a club or something like that? And, you know, the objective when you go to parties and clubs is you look for a shorty. You know what I mean? You get in there and you, you try to dance with a shorty. She start dancing. She look back at who she danced at. She'd be like, oh, change my mind. <laughs> <I did. Yeah. laughs> no. Nope. Cause I don't I've had dance. that happen as a youngin. I, I used to go to uh, remember Wow. I used to go you to know Wow I do. with my brother Reese all the time. Shout out to my brother Reese, love that nigga. Um, we used to go to Wow all the time. I had to start a pro jacket on. John was definitely like from a Diddy video. Me and him and all his partners, we used to roll up in that John. That shit used to be crazy. It used to be it all crazy. dark. Go right in the middle of the skating rink and just be dancing, dancing. nonstop, boy. Then there's got a John. You could go up top. Walk around the joint. That shit was lit, yo. There's, it was I miss something. This shit was lit. I miss, is Wild still out there? Wild no, closed no. down, right? It yeah, don't I look. No more. I, you can only imagine what would happen nowadays if Wild was open, man. Be a, I'd be a murder there all the time. But see, that's that's the thing. Like now we're talking about this. Like this is the reason. These are the oh shit. <laughs> it's, it's something funny happened on his side. But this is the shit that we struggle with is dudes to fucking um to talk <laughs> talk to women like yo like Uh-oh. we can hear you he's in trouble he gotta get off this podcast soon but um mm-hmm. you know what I mean the expectations we put on ourselves for dating like we gotta come out there look fly not only do our game gotta be tight but those are just that's just the basics to even get in the door before you even start dating, like to even get her number to start talking to her. You got to go jump through all these hurdles and you got to be on 10. You can't slip on nothing. Yeah. If your game is weak, what she says, I got a boyfriend. Yep. <laughs> Yo, like how many times, like how many times you I got shut down because my game was lame. I came and she just laughed me the fuck off like, <laughs> <laughs> You're funny and walked away. I've never been laughed at, bro. Yo, I got <laughs> laughed yo. off, man. It was like, yo, shit was, but I knew it was lame. I'm like, yo, this ain't even you. But I, it wasn't me. I came with some old, too smooth shit. And I'm not a, I'm a smooth dude, but I, I for me, it's got to be a little bit of humor mixed in there. I at least got to see you smile. And I didn't put that in there. I just went too fucking smooth. Well, what'd you say? I would like to know what you said. I went oh, too man. smooth. <laughs> yeah, because there's no, there's no such thing, bro. Yeah, there's no such like, thing. It is. like I'm, I look like a grind ball, nigga. So I came up with, like, you're very beautiful and everything. I you know, would love to take you out and show you how one real woman's supposed to be treated. Oh, you wasn't yourself. You, so you wasn't, you wasn't you're yourself. Right? Wasn't That's myself. what it was. Instead of me just coming out like, oh, man, you fat. Like, you, nah, you fat. You like. Like you looking good over here. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, not to be disrespectful. I know this shit gonna come off disrespectful. Your ass is looking crazy and looking bad in that dress. Like, you look good. <laughs> I like you. I want you. I yo, I told you, <laughs> but you'd be surprised. I said that to a lot of females. Like, yo, but I, they was just likes, they was cool. He knows what he wants. They was cool but, with the honest. Of, they was just cool with me being honest that I wasn't trying to come with some whack ass game. It was like, yo, she like, why you really come over here for? I'm like, yo, I'll be right with you. I seen your ass over there. Your shit was crazy. Then you turned around and you was bad. So I had to say something. Like, I'll be an idiot if I, I didn't say anyone. something. Ah, honest. Yeah, I'm going to be an idiot if I didn't say anything to you. Like, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but I'm not one. I'm not going to come off like I'm trying to with this old. I'm not coming with that lame game. I'm telling you exactly what I came here for and why I came here to talk to you. But that's, that's, that's cool. Women respect that shit. But. Uh, you right, got really low. <laughs> saved the nigga. I'm about to, I saved the nigga out of this shit. He scratched. We got to black that name up. I saved the nigga out of this shit. He was. He was no. You, no, we got to block his name. Dead you ass. already said his name. Now we're gonna block it. This ain't. This is ain't recorded. We're gonna block his name. But <laughs> we're gonna do that shit. Now we definitely gonna do this shit. So we were somewhere and shit, and he was staring at the shorty ass crazy, and her friend had peep. That he was staring at the ass, so she turned around because she was the, the okay, she was the ugly one out of the group. She turns around and taps the girl and tells her in the ear, like, "Yo, these niggas looking at your ass." So Shorty turns around and was like, 
y'all looking at my ass niggas froze up i said you know what you called me dead ass like that shit's crazy like i had to look like i I'm, i apologize I, like i'm sorry but your ass was crazy yes i was looking i was staring mad hard she was like you know what gave me a high five she's like i can respect that she said most niggas most niggas will fold it like every, every time i say most niggas fold you didn't fold like you i like she's like i that respect had, that that had to be a wow no, you, no, he ain't never no, been to this, wow. no, this happened. This happened recently. <laughs> <What? laughs> I can't ask you again. I'm you can't ask me. Nah, just, not, just rewind the episode. <laughs> nah, nah, but it just it happened. But it was at it was at an area. It was in an area where you were, we were all adults and we were grown. So when I said this shit, she was an adult too. But she was like, she was cool that I was honest. Cause these niggas try to fraud that try to talk to her. I wasn't trying to talk to her. I just kept it real with her, trying to save this nigga from being embarrassed because he ready to run, he ran game after I said what I said and he yeah. wound up getting a number. But yeah. I was honest with the situation. That nigga just she doesn't was, stop, yo. He don't stop. Just gotta blake the name out. That's why I said you're gonna blake the name out. <laughs> don't get the world pregnant. <laughs> yo, so but I, <laughs> but I was honest with Shorty. She was cool with that. Like I didn't lie. I think. And that's the thing, like we come with game, like it's it's so fucked up now. Like dudes really fucked it up so much now. Guys in general, they lie so much and they run so much games. Like I think females appreciate the honesty. How about y'all? I don't know. I'm, this is just me on the outside looking in from you know the dating world now. I mean, I of course they appreciate honesty. I mean, it gives them a view of what they what to expect if they actually indulge into a relationship with you. If you was honest from the go, they're gonna expect you to always be honest. You know what I mean? And Normally that's what the case is, you know what I'm saying? Once you once you tell her what it is and you realize she respects when you tell her what it is, it's more easy for you to just be up front with that person. But that's, that's why it's best when you are in a relationship. You can talk to women easily because you don't give a fuck. You're like, I don't yeah. want you anyway, so I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I tried to talk back when we was working at Bob Evans, I tried to holler the girl when I while I was working. Was she white? I guess they didn't. Nah, I'm not, not joking. Not, not a girl that worked with us. Oh, okay, I mean, we okay. definitely tried to holler at girls. You had a little favor back then, I remember. But um, <laughs> oh yeah, she had the mean yeah. stuffy. Yes, yeah, she did. She had this. <clears> but um, with yeah, the stuffy. Gonna, yeah, I mean, back then we was washing dishes. I don't think they liked that. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't the pill, but I'm a working man, baby. You know what I mean? I, I had other things. I know I got a job. She, right, you know, exactly. Too. Oh, we was. I was in school too, but I had other yeah. things. I thought that was like. That I thought were like the the thing to to get them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what you thought. That's what I like, thought. Dre used to say wild shit like, "Yeah, I got this. You want to get in the wheelchair? Nah, I'm gonna put you there see, in the he, bedroom. He, <laughs> say crazy yo, shit. Listen, let's let's paint the picture. Once I'm you go paint. black, you're gonna need a wheelchair. Yeah, that's, and that's look at him like Dre. Shut up, and he'd be like, "That's the, I'm, I'm for real. I wasn't joking <laughs> at all, though. That's the thing. <laughs> that's that's the picture we gotta paint for people listening. Like he was trying to have it was." It was this white girl that used to work. We all worked at this Bob Evans, and she had Man, this we deep mean, there, boy. Mean ass, like this shit. It was at the time. You gotta understand. This is what this is two thousand and one. Yeah, this two thousand. This is two thousand two. two, 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 two. two. So yeah. this is still around the time where white girls was expected to have these flat asses. Like, like you gotta <laughs> for real. Let's be real. Yeah. This is Britney Spears in them era. This is when they used to come out on MTV with them flat asses and them dressing <laughs> niggas. White dudes, yo, look at the ass on her, bro. I'm like, what? It's look nice at the fit. ass on her, bro. Like, it's nice and fit. But you gotta understand, this <laughs> is also this is also the same time and era when mm -hmm. I think Buffy had just started coming out. So, to see a white girl with an ass that brothers appreciate the white dudes wasn't really fucking with. Mm -hmm. Dre came with the yo, I gotta yo, my stick really hit shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and, she, and you was too aggressive as a black dude, aggressive. but it's Dre really, really white, white, white girl. <laughs> Dre really scared women back then, bro. Because that's I told y'all that's how say the crazy. That's how shit. I was used to coming. <laughs> like, come here, girl. Let me from. knock on your walls. All <laughs> types of crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> they look at him like this dude what? is. Nuts. I might have scared him, but not scared him in like a way that I, they thought I was a creep. I think I might have scared him the other way. They would have been disappointed either way, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, not actually. Back then, no, I was no, I was I was practicing what I was preaching, but now I don't say any, I don't say any of that <laughs> at all. <laughs> so. 
So let me ask you a question. How many like you might get a mild hernia, huh? <laughs> in a dating game, like how like yo, how afraid were y'all to talk to different women or try to ask a woman on a date just in the fear of rejection? <laughs> hey like, yo, for me, it the, the higher the level, the mm. more timid. Okay, so example, if we were just if we were just talking to ducks, we already knew what time it was. Just, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, what's up, yo? Like you are. But when you had that one dime that was walking with a bunch of dimes, it's like, whew, all right, I want to talk to her, but what the hell am I going to say? I don't know what mm-hmm. to say. Or you get up, you start talking to her, you kind of freeze up a little bit, like you just you just giggling like a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or or you or or it just don't come to you that fast because. I'm not gonna lie, man. Sometimes I was amazed. Some women just amazed me by the beauty. Mm-hmm. Like, God damn! Like it wasn't even. It was more than sex. I thought I, some women. I thought I wanted to marry. <laughs> like, yo, she's got to be forever when you're young. Like, yo, I need her to I'm gonna have kids with her just so she can't go nowhere. You know what I mean? But <laughs> but then you grow up and you realize. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. You know, every every yesterday's price ain't today's price, and that's for goddamn sure. But it's just a whore. But but the determining the level that they were on, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. is 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 how timid I would be when it comes to just having a conversation with them, bro. Yeah. Like like now as an adult, you can you could have a conversation with anybody. Now it's just you're not it's not that timid factor. Right. But as a kid, first of all, you don't want to get turned out. It's it's embarrassing. It's hard. Like, how are you going to face this person again? You know what I mean? We didn't we didn't have the the tenacity when it came to talking to women back yeah. then. One and done. If 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 you got shot down, your plane hit the water. Boom. Okay, pull your parachute and and land safely somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, and sometimes they'd be a dime. You wouldn't even talk to them. You'd be like, man, nah, fuck that. Push somebody off on them. Did then you'd you be mad if they get the number. Like, <laughs> nah, none of my none of my friends ever got the number. Um, oh man, terrible for your friends. I, I wanted to ask you this though. Did you ever did you ever just hit them with the oh, I just wanted to come up to you and tell you how pretty you was, and then and then not <laughs> because you just got nervous when you got there, like you was like, well, she might say, I just want to tell you you was pretty. That's all. If I got all the right, heart have a good to day, have a girl. conversation or say Try. something to her. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. If I had, if I got the heart to actually bring words that make sense, <laughs> you know what I mean, and not look stupid. Really, my whole game was to get her to smile. If I could get them to mm. smile, mm-hmm. I'm in there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's all about body expression and facial expressions. You know what I mean? And I just gauge it by what's how the, how the vibe was going. I didn't even know nothing about vibes back then. I guess it was just like something natural for me and I just gauge off the vibe and then I know when to reel them in. Boom. All right. Got you. But sometimes the vibe ain't. <laughs> so sometimes what, the vibe ain't vibing. there. So what happened when your confidence got wrecked like real shit rejection like she rejected you like hit you with the like, oh, nigga, I, Sprite nigga, commercial. Nigga, I tell you. Uh, Sprite no. commercial. <laughs> Yo, rejection. I was handsome. I don't care. Yeah, I mean but at that time, like if when it happens at that time, like if we at the mall or something, I got to leave the mall. I can't Wait. be walking around the mall and I talk to her and now I got to pass her again and she just looking at me. Yo. Oh, <laughs> Yo. I'm leaving, bro. You don't wait to her. You don't wait to her the second time. No, like, no, no, no. <laughs> no. It's your last it chance. Depends, it depends on how bad it got because if she just chance. if she just like kind of dismissed me like nah I'm good thanks blah, blah, blah. and I'd be like all right cool blah 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 right. but if she really tried to play me I got to go yeah <laughs> wait 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 hold on hold on let me stop you right there Dre what shut did, up because you did that shit what did girls say to play you I'm trying to understand what they said because usually right. either a no thank you or it's a, I got a boyfriend I don't am nah, I some I mean, some women, I, nah man some I can't believe you, ever, you had you the ever be in talk? New York and talk to what? a New York girl oh no I never did that. I'm all sorry. Right, oh. All right, it is devastating. Yo, can you tell oh, yeah. me? Can you give good. me a story, please? Fuck out of here, you bum ass nigga! Like, why the fuck you trying to holler at me for real? Like, you really came up to me looking like that, trying Ayo, to talk to me Ayo. and be loud. Everybody Ayo. hears the shit. You be oh, like, wow. I've been, <laughs> I've been called a shout bum out to the Philly girls by a girl who didn't even know me. I wasn't bum ass nigga. Look, I'm not. I don't think that I'm. I'm I mean, my mom calls me handsome, so I'm handsome. You, you know, know what I'm saying? 
I've never been a person who didn't know how to dress. Sometimes I might have got a little colorful, but I always <laughs> knew how to <laughs> always knew how to dress. You know what I mean? Even back then, you know what I'm even saying? Even with the Gucci suit. Yeah, you know what I mean? I knew I knew what to do. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it was better than the South Pole set you was wearing, but it's all more <laughs> with the Fubu shirts with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? You had the young bull that was that was sitting there with his hands in his pocket, his pants sagging. Yeah, but, um, was, yeah, you was wild. All right. All right. <laughs> you was wild for that. I was broke. But yeah, cool. <sighs> like, yo, like, when Kev say loud, yes. Dre, when Kev says loud, That's crazy. it's like she's trying to tell somebody else that she knows how bummy I am and to let the other women know. <laughs> That's crazy. And this goes for all of us type situation. That's like, wild, bro. Yo, you never talked crazy. to him. you never talked it, to a New York girl before? Hey, yo. I just told you I have not, hey, never, yo. not once. It makes you want, and that's why New York niggas be disrespectful. Yep. Because as soon as you get disrespectful, disrespected like that, you're not on no charism, charism, charismatic type vibe. You switch real quick, like, bitch, who the fuck is you talking to like that? A simple, I'm good would have would have suffice, but oh, you're why you gotta be disrespectful? You know what I'm saying? You don't even know me. You don't even know me. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I could be a murderer. Shout out to Red <laughs> exactly. exactly. Now you're murdered. Now you're murdered. <laughs> now you're murdered. <laughs> Shout out to the Philly girls because the Philly girls ain't do it like that, and niggas was still disrespectful. But they never, ever, ever played you in front of everybody. Oh, fuck you, nigga. Talk. They never, ever, ever, bro. But the niggas, the niggas would definitely get disrespectful if a girl said no. See, that's fuck that's you, then, that. bitch. All that Damn. shit. Yeah, all that. I've never. I ain't never been that that type of guy. I've never been one to do that. Everybody got to be entitled to what they like. I know what I like, and I know what I want. That nigga said, "I like it, and I want you." That nigga said, "Leave the mall or the hard way." Yeah, I never left the mall. But but I've gotten a no thank you. I've gotten a no thank you, and I've gotten a I got a boyfriend. And you leave it there. You say, "All right, well, you have a good day," and you you handle it with class. But you never got the giggle, or I guess you never, you, you never been cursed out. I got the giggle. You, ha- you ever got the high sedity type? Like, what you mean, though? That will look like, at you like? Uh, um, I mean that, that, or 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 the ones who want to know if you. you can pay their bills, or do you want to take? Oh, you talking about when you get older? Or, I, I nah, I, I, I was even when we were seventeen, we had shorties. I was like that. Me, yeah, you gonna pay when they it. started making no scrubs, that's when <laughs> women oh, wow. started getting on that wave. No, and I we was, was what I was 13, respecting in my 11 city. when no scrubs came out 12. So <laughs> so they growing up, they growing up at listening to Destiny's Child. Can you pay my bills? You know what I'm saying? They want to know what you could do. I was respected in my city. I ain't they ain't never hit me with none of that. I was respected in my <laughs> so, <laughs> look at right. me just lying and shit. <laughs> right, so what happened? okay, say the, re- the rejection. That's another aspect of dating. Now the other aspect is fucking competition. Like mm. you got the other niggas sliding in. Like you got the other lines coming in. You come in trying to run game, and here come homeboy behind you with the waves three sixty in, fresh J's on. Oh, that was you, Dre. Sick. I was a nigga with the waves, but no, nah, it was nigga, a bunch of nigga, other fly niggas nigga, that big tall <laughs> NBA looking ass nigga. nigga come walking up behind you. Extra muscle I'm teenager, skinny. Big. NBA tall. I was a skinny NBA tall nigga. I wasn't the muscle up. But he was, I was ashy. I was yeah. ashy though. <laughs> you know, ashy though. Larry. I was ashy. Like I fucked up with that right there. I can't even fuck. But yo, I it's been niggas with this nigga right here was always my competition. I was never competition. No, nah, your homeboy you is Puerto Rican. Nah, he no, wasn't no, my we're competition. On the same team. But we would you can't tell your point guard no. he's competition when you send it. No, him I would never him. send this nigga. But we would go up. You hear the this nigga nah, nah, fuck all this shit. How, how many go? times? How about the time we went to the park? Yeah, I'm still gonna bring this shit up. You I gotta bring this shit. I don't hear nothing but cat. Okay, Dra- Drago, confir- Drago yo, confirm this story. That might have been fire, yo. No, 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 no. We gonna confirm fire. this story. I'm gonna confirm this story. We went to the park. New era. Two shorties at the park playing ball. Yo, I say y'all got X, you got Z. Boom. Bro, you're not gonna tell me who you got. <laughs> nah, nah. We playing ball. I started Kev's rapping. Gonna, he's I gonna rap- take the one that yeah, he wants. I start rapping I'm, I'm the X. Take the one I like. If I we start got rapping business. the X. He start rapping the Z. We thought that's what he was in on. I come back to like the next. I think I didn't come to hey, one yo. day. I came back the next day. And X and Z switched up, and he dating one of them. Yo, the other. They want to talk to me. I'm gonna talk to them at that time. Yo, buddy. Nah, nah, nah. I'm that was dirty, though. So I only talk to <laughs> my wife. And then he discards <laughs> them. 
Listen, yo, that's what I'm not for nothing, and I apologize for anybody who doesn't like what I say. But that's what we did back then. It is what we did. I couldn't be bad. No, yo, but don't take done. the one I want and then discard nah. them. Like, I wasn't yo, hold taking on. them. They was, yo, they was over. Listen, they was, oh, yeah, coming pretty to, up. Kev, Kev, listen, shit. If Kev was talking to a girl and she ended up talking to me, it's not because nah, I went over there and was like, yo, you don't want to talk to that nigga. You want to talk nah, to I never that. did. They come and talk to me. Bro, but that's I'm going to look at Kev don't... like, nah, bro, you walk over there, you go like this and shit. Walking cheesy. Like, you do all that. Fuck out of here. Dude, he come over there cheesing and giggling like, hey, yo, fuck out of here. No. I definitely use my hair. To my exactly, nigga. Oh, wipe off the chain. I never flicked my shit, you hoe ass nigga. Don't you ever. <laughs> he tried that shit. No, he tried that shit one time with Dre. We was at the pool. I said, You ain't doing this shit today. I had the shorty I want. He walked up laughing, came over with the Puerto Rican hair. He started rapping to the hey, joint. Yo, <laughs> hey, I, I said, Yo, as she was walking in camp cover. Nah, hey, nigga, I'm just letting me. it be known that she with me, <laughs> Kev. Get smart. too late. I'll I'll like, her. All right. Nah, take, take those Spanish so games right where back listen, where you man. at. But the Jordy I wasn't bad. It's just I'm the one you, I had. Listen, when we were in high school, I didn't talk to. I never talked to girls at school. There were very uh. few girls that I actually talked to. At oh, you school. wild? That was hunting. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, because you got to deal with them in school. I used to always have girls. That never lived near me. I, if I, I would always go to my mom's crib, I have shorties in oh, Pleasantville. Yeah, so. I'd always go somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. When we were going to Philly to my grandparents' house, and which which is crazy to say, but my my grandfather used to let me run the streets of Philly by myself with a bunch of kids that just lived on the block. Looking back at it now, I'd never let my kids do that. Nah, but I used to run like the streets then. of Philly and and talk to all types of joints. So. Girls in my school were never like, why would I talk to y'all? Y'all just regular little South Jersey Winslow girls. I'm I'm out I'm out in the city with my shits. You know what I'm saying? You're and true. I I ain't got to what? No, I'm saying you're right. Remember how yeah. I said why would you that hunting grounds was a school? Now yeah. I understand what you mean because I switched mm-hmm. schools and I understand. Yeah, yep. why? I, right, I would always talk to somebody out of school. My shorty would always be from another school. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I I what I think. Went to three palms in one year, I think. Oh no! Yeah, because I, I wore the three palms. Two, three palm, three palms in one year. Three different schools. <laughs> yo, yo, wait, wait. <laughs> Kev, Kev, Kev ain't never had handsome nigga problems. Who? <laughs> I, I was. I had a kid. I had a kid by the time prom came up, my nigga. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck you, you know, I had did. a baby. I had a baby, but I didn't like my um. Yeah, but I was. My homegirl took my homegirl took me to the this. prom. I can't believe. Wait, who was that? I saw your picture. About me. Uh, that's my homegirl. She, uh, Kevin, no, Lasandra. I saw shit. your picture. Oh, that's okay. Right. Yeah, that was my dog. That's my homegirl right there. She, she cool as shit. Up, like, Lissandra? I ain't seen her since. She, she hit me up here and there, but that was my homie. Like, I used to talk to my homie every day. Like, hey, yo, she shout, was pretty shout too. Out to Lasandra because she was a thug. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you because she was cute, but she was intimidating in a motherfucker. Yeah, and not was. because she was cute, she was intimidating because she'll punch the shit out you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? She would punch the shit out you, even playing around. And then she had that evil mom face when she got mad. Yeah, that's my nigga. Though. But that was still my dog. That's she my home. Shit. Yeah, that's why I went to prom with my homie. Took the, <laughs> took me to prom. I couldn't go because my baby mom was pregnant at the time and shit. So I was like, oh, she no, was. Pre- you, maybe you did have handsome nigga problems. <laughs> she was pregnant at the time, so <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> so she took it's like I went with my home girl. I was like, she's like, bet. She was like, all right, I'm gonna take you. Uh, yeah, and well, I went there and danced with another nigga's girl all night long. Yeah, he took the prom. <laughs> that you nigga should have. Nah, I should have. I had a girl. I had a girl. I had a girl and a kid on the way, so I wasn't even about that. It was just like he sat there, watched me dance with his girl all night. His girl had a fatty too. Yo, was y'all the jealous type? Nah, because you're talking about competition. When you have to, when you dealing with a shorty, you got the competition. You was either Dating, y'all like yeah. jealous of what you mean? the competition. What you mean, Co- like if you're all trying to talk to the same same girl, same girl? I mean, like, no, like you see, no, like the like just regular jealousy shit. You know, what if I mean? she my like, girl, hell yeah, I'm jealous as fuck. I was jealous as fuck. Hell yeah, I, I don't think I've ever been a jealous type. Yeah, nah, well, I'm talking about competition. Like you go up in a spot, you go up in a spot. Say like we was younger, twenties. Go up in a spot. It's a club, mm. and you see something that you're trying to bag out the club that night, and you know right. it's on, it's only about four or five, right? Every nigga in there came with his best outfit, his best cut. Now you got the competition of all these fucking wolves in the in the building trying to get these sheep. You looking like damn, like, all right, nah. man. 
Nah, you because you know what? You got to play to your strengths at the time. Like, uh-huh. you play to your strengths. If you, like, I, and plus, I know niggas can't really actually dress when they put their best on. But other than that, it's like, if you, you get in where you fit in, if, if it's an opportunity to get in, then you get in. If not, then you let another nigga bag. Like, whatever. You know what Just I'm saying? Because you got nice clothes don't mean you look good in them. The nigga you know what I'm saying? Oh, we it might be night. I, I felt like when we used to go into like parties at the club, we were like Terminator. You walk in there and you see all these people. <laughs> and then you see the one joint. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and you're like, mm, that's the one. Kev got a no underwear sensor. Yes, <laughs> 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 the nigga got a no underwear sensor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you know what? I, I do that shit. Up. Real shit. How I do that shit. I look at their hips. If they got some right, tight bro. on. All right. No, listen to me. Joke no, no, no. I'm dead <laughs> ass. Listen to me. Dead ass. Look at their oh, hips. God. They got like a tight dress on. You might see, like, if they wear a thong, the thong hides it. But if you look at their hips, you will still see that little panty outline for where the, where the waistband go around their hip. That's how you know if they got drawers on or not. Not yeah, by the way. We were joking. Right, you was actually out there looking for the ones with no draws <laughs> no on. Draws. Yo, I <laughs> dance. <dead. laughs> Kevin had no on. <laughs> you got to be well prepared, baby. I had draws on. Right, but, you be like, <laughs> but you know she got no draws or she's a whole like she's a she's on some freak shit. Not like necessarily. She. And she got confidence that her box smell good too. Hey yo, I don't care what. Don't say nothing. Yo, you in public with no underwear on, you looking for problems? Sundress, <laughs> sundress is long, bro. You still you're got... looking for problems if you sundress got no draws on. So what does that mean? What that does that you mean? Don't want no panty line. Ah, uh, that just means she, she's People looking wait. for the hike up. Yo, she wow. could... yo, bro, wow. looking you're for the hike up. Stories right now. But I'm saying they would wear a thong. Hey, Shirts would wear a thong. How with a many women have you met in your life wearing a sundress with no drawers on that did not belong to you or not belong? Oh, you said did not belong to me. Damn. That Never in mind. a relationship with you I was about or to say with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but never mind though. Don't we don't want to say? Don't look, yo. We talking about random women. We talking about uh, Kev out there looking for the the random no drawers having on women. You know Randos. what I'm saying? So how many sundresses have you been able to walk up on hike up and be like, you ain't got no drawers on? See, I have no idea because I don't touch things that don't belong to me. If you dance in the club, you gotta touch them. <laughs> That's true. I they grab you, grab their hip. You can rub their hip and fill a panty line. Bro, you yep. are wilding, my nigga. And you yo, know, <laughs> a nigga in Levi's should definitely have way more decorum than you do right now. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Like, why am I telling this shit like y'all never did this shit? Yeah, we ain't go around looking for women with no drawers. Right. <laughs> oh, that's the one what? right there. Yo, she got, yo, her teeth, her teeth are too big. I don't care. The she fact got no that you could be on. in a club or at a party <laughs> and see that she has no drawers on through clothes in the dark is crazy. You're like, I notice it. Yeah. And then when I rub <laughs> your hips and I touch way, it and you, you ain't got it, I'm like, oh, word. <laughs> I would tell it, like, yo, bro, she got no drawers on. Oh yeah, she yo! Don't be. ever tap me and tell me that. <laughs> 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 I, okay, I'm gonna look back at you like, "Word, okay, what are we doing?" Yeah. Back then, you'd have been like, "Word." Yeah. Back then, you would have you would have been enticed. How you know? How you know? Yeah. Nah, let me see. <laughs> That's a thing. Sp- next- no, no, let my spidey see. sense is going crazy, my nigga. <laughs> Kev will, and then Kev next words when you be like, "How you know?" Kev is saying, "I'm like, watch this." <laughs> Here comes the obscenities. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. Then we talking though. At that point, yeah, it's time to play ball. Yeah, man. Like, that shit happened man, to me recently, crazy. man. I was dancing with a uh, uh, dancing in the club, and this chick, we were dancing in the club. This chick, like, went down, and her whole box came out. I'm like, that's a good night. Everybody just stopped in the circle, was like, did she pull the dress? I'm like, <laughs> she was getting married, though. Like, I like, and I was just there to have fun. That's even worse. She had the, the sat, you know, the sash on. Like mm-hmm. the, the uh, I think it was they. She was the she bride. Was definitely getting dug out that night by somebody yeah. other yes. than her. Yes. Yeah. I like yo. Yo, look, let me let me ask you a question. Why before you finish the story? Mode. Before you finish the story, do you think a person has the right to that? What? No. To get married? Why, though? You about to get hey, married? Yo, you don't you, become a wife. You don't when become you get yo, you married. Don't... You are a wife before you get yeah. married, and that's why you decide to marry that woman. No, I agree. I'm saying, like, some people believe it's the right to get dug out one last time on that fucking, um, they're, they're usually, you know, 
they've been maybe cheating. Not of, maybe not of our culture, but yeah, it's like they get drunk, they do whatever. They have the right to have a dick in their face before they get married. Yeah, because they've been cheating their whole relationship. So why? Let, let, let me be faithful. Would you? Would you be okay? You getting fucked and you being at a bachelor a bachelorette party and there being a stripper there. I feel it's two different things. Are you upset at your wife if she's about to get married and she goes to a bachelor party and there's a dude with his dick out and now you're mad because they're throwing bills at him? No. All right. If she, I don't, I would, I wouldn't be upset about that because you having a bachelor party. Yeah, I get what, I get it. I get it. I probably had titties in my face. I get it. I get yeah. it. But if they start doing that dancing bear shit, and and, and, Kev, and Kev, he's going to pretend like he doesn't know what that is. But go ahead. Okay, you don't know what dancing bears are. Can y'all fucking tell? I don't fucking watch as much porn as y'all fucking. I'm perverted in real life. I, Clearly, I am perverted in real life. Going to the clouds with the. I don't do, do, want to be perverted. The majors, the do, 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 do for the pussy. I don't want to be perverted at home by myself. I want to be perverted where I can actually do so. Tell me what the dancing, the dancing bears, bears is. When it's like a, it's it's like a. Uh, it's fake though. I know it's fake, but oh. he's supposed to be. He's, he, they got a costume on. They're supposed to be like. A uh, uh, stripper, and next thing you know, it goes from them wearing a costume to them getting their dick sucked by the, all the women at the party. All the women, and they just, you know, what I mean, they just, they just uh, the one dude that's just there, or two dudes fucking everybody type mm -hmm. shit. Okay, but if it turns into a situation like that, then you are no more wifey material. Everybody has to die there. Man, I'm just, uh, no, I'm no, just single again. Decisions being made. Just single. Uh, I think I'm gonna save money in the back end. Yeah. Why, why, you know yeah. what I mean? So. Go be with the dancing bear. <laughs> Go be with the dancing bear. <laughs> you know I mean, hopefully he won't charge you much because you're gonna have to dance with him for the rest of your life. So, mm -hmm. so, so here goes another dating John, man. Okay, <laughs> St stereotyping. Thinking that all men are just out for sex and and one thing when coming in dating. Okay, listen, some of that shit holds true, ladies. To me, yeah. Sometimes I'm just looking at you just to knock off. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's been, but you know. It, for the most part, as I started getting older, it's yeah, I would break that down to him. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just looking for somebody to have sex with and go out with and hang with. Somebody to have fun with. That's what I would say. But they try to label all men like maybe we all we that's all we want. Well, half the time we actually are looking for a relationship. Do y'all hate that stereotype and shit? I mean, I feel like it's a it's partly true, like you said. I mean, True at different times. Me as me thinking about the ways that I used to do things. I mean, I ain't never bought a car without test driving it. So <laughs> if I plan on having you for a period of time, I gotta know <laughs> what I'm getting myself into. You know what I mean? Do I need an oil change? You know what I'm saying? Are the tires good? How's the engine running? You know what I mean? Does do I need a new transmission? Or or is this John Fresh off the lot? So <laughs> So let's let's see because you can entice me and I can I can I can like what you're coming to the table with conversation wise and you know we can vibe and everything like that. But if it ain't right in the bedroom, then it ain't right at all in all reality. And then we could just be friends because we vibe and we friends. cool and we talk and we could just be cool. But I have to be able to satisfy you sexually and vice versa. And I'd like to know that more sooner than later. I what mean, do you do just, when she can't when she can't satisfy you? You just you don't want to teach her. No, got you. No, got you. No, I don't want to take what do I? I don't take my car to the mechanic so he can show me how to do it. No, mm, you come okay. here. I come there. You come and you get the job done, and I'm coming to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? And and if it can't, then. I mean, so, there's really no. I'm, what about Kev that? Knows, what about knows? that car got too much experience? Then Kev you looking knows. at that car sideways, like, hmm. no, you might not be. Yeah, no, 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 it depends. No. You, you might, might not. Be. You might like that car because it rides good on the road. Yo, you're talking about 40s when you're in your 40s, right? Yeah. If I'm you're talking, talking about, about that, you might not. That might not be something that you care about. You might be like, uh, and a yo, she, age, she know what the fuck she doing. Younger age, yeah, we did. Care yes, about dog. That. Let's let's be real. At younger age, if this if this older, car been running Indy 500s and all the other shits, and but as we that got drag older, strip getting beat we, down, yeah, you're yeah, gonna want to know about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is a fast car, but this car has a lot of tracks in his life. Yeah. <laughs> but now, but as we got older, we realized she got the tricks. We started running some miles too, so <laughs> sorry to match your miles. Well, some more than others. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially yeah. We know. Guess right? I was this gonna nigga. say some more. Than, yeah, I was gonna say this guy. Hey, hey, this nigga. This is the only nigga oh, I know. 
Who? First of all, don't. This, no, the only nigga like, I know that fucked the chick at the putting her cable in. It's <laughs> the only guy I know. Well, actually, I know two. But the only one of two guys that I know that has done that. Yeah, you got a little bit more mileage than others. Like, I did some shit. I ain't never do that. I may have got some ass. You was never a cable guy. You was <laughs> <right. laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Who's to say you ain't dump somebody garbage and then dump in her game? Correct. You know what I mean? Like, Correct. We don't know what Bro, you Bro, I almost one when night. You was tossing them cans. One night. You could have been tossing them cans and dumping in them yams. Who knows? One night. Uh, Jesus was with like me. That, I, I, I thought I, I was this when I was trying to be a good nigga. Shorty said, yo. She cut her head around the door. She was like, yo, can, uh, can you put my trash in the, in the trash can? I said, yo, you got to bring it from your house. I can't walk up with you. Probably get the trash can. <laughs> I need you to come She's like, I'm naked. I mean, stop playing. I said, yo, man, stop playing me. Come get that's the trash and bring it out. That's what she said to me. She said, I'm naked. I said, yo, man. Stop playing. I mean, stop playing me. Bring this trash out. You don't, she's like, you don't believe me? I said, no, show me. Step free behind the door. Like, you knew what you knew what she was doing. Wow. I get you. Kev wow, I'll go get your trash. Get I go get trash. <laughs> so, so yeah, Kev, you've done. Yeah, Kev done. overalls got shorter. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he started, started knocking over trash cans as he's walking by. <laughs> oh, got a scoop pass. Got a scoop pass. <laughs> Yo, if I wasn't trying to be a good nigga at that time, I told my nigga, Yo, spin the block. <laughs> Come back and get me. I I'll be right in her trash can, bro. Nobody <laughs> trash just can. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I mean, hey, y'all act like y'all ain't never needed to make sure that that it was a good sexual experience before you decided. Oh yeah, this is going to be the one for now. But I'm of saying, course. but of you course. don't. But what I'm saying about the stereotype, Dre, you break. You don't. Do you like them like stereotyping you off the rip? That's what I'm saying. Like hitting you with the like you only want to see you only want fuck because you know you just want to have sex with me or, or, I, or my ass is fat. Do you hate that? Um, no, because I can't be put in no box no matter what. I use I used to pride myself on not being in the boxes that other people was in. So to me, it was like, I mean, it was almost a challenge. But then in some people, I wind up being that exact thing. But I'm usually honest about that. I'm honest about me just wanting just wanting that. Yo, we just chilling. If I tell you all, if I tell you over and over again, we just chilling. That's that's what I want. And honestly, that's how you should look at it, too. And when you're ready to be done, you could tell me you're done. Mm hmm. That's how I see it. I, I I used to hold my hand, hold my head on, hang my hat on being honest. So if I tell you that I'm not doing anything wrong, how about would would that make you feel creepy? About <laughs> coming off like a creep like that, just telling an honest truth, like I just want some sex, baby. Nah, because I don't say it like that. The the, the correct way to say that is we just chilling. Nah. Well, Dre Dre would say something like, "I'm not gonna rape you." <laughs> which is true which is hey, true but he'd yell it out on south street <laughs> <laughs> out of a car i don't know what she was thinking and the chicken no, who did he on so us no, she, she ran full she speed ran full speed into a dark alley <laughs> and disappeared <laughs> she said i'd rather i'd rather run in this dark alley and get kidnapped and listen Mind you, this nigga got to mind you, no one will ever if no one no one would ever believe that story if I just told him that. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, well, we was Man there for that story, dog. Like she literally disappeared. We and it wasn't like she had enough time to disappear from us. Like she literally, when you said that, she ran to the corner Dre and we pulled said, up hey, like what like doing? two seconds. She started moving. Dre didn't even Dre just politely. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? She started moving faster. Dre mm. said, wait, where you going? I'm not going to rape you. Pure, I'm gone. It was all in five seconds. That was the same night Dre got into the car accident. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. It's the shortest it was I, think, it's I think it was right after that moment we got to the accident. Yeah. Like don't leave somebody in, car was, somebody in the car was somebody in the car was looking at somebody that thought it was a woman. But we was like, that ain't no woman. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't you. It was somebody else in the car at the time. I'll I'll, I'll refresh yeah, your memory yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then right after that, Dre hit the car. Shorty came out talking to Dre crazy. And yeah. Dre and Dre's like, Dre trying to be calm. And then the dude got out of the car. He looked at his car. He looked at Dre. Then he looked at Dre's car. He see all of us. He grabbed her and said, yo, get the fuck in the car. Yeah. <laughs> you just, like, no, homie, clean that up. They probably still together. Homie, clean yeah. that right up. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, right. he about to get me fucked up. What's up to him? But Dre, at right, that moment, that was like a whole creep moment. You say I'm not a rapist, dog. That no, was that crazy. was me being factual because she, for some reason, she thought that that's what 
I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's that's some crazy. That's what gonna go down in the books. <laughs> Yo, bro, because funny shit we got in an accident. Right Only there. reason we got in that accident because we pulled up to try to like see her again, and she was gone. And we was all fixated on the fact that we she was gone that Dre hit the car in front of her because it literally was like it all happened like that quick. Was, That's when we used to actually go there. Used to go there. Crash South Street. Whip looking back at a bitch. That's when we was. That's when we was. Uh, that's when we was fucking. That's when we was doing stuff though. But I think about that shit though. It had to be like twenty twenty one. At that time, like at that time, yeah, we was. He was like twenty one then. Oh, I thought you meant it was 2021. I'm like, nah, nah, no, 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 no. We were like 2021, though. but at that uh, time, roughly, roughly, yeah. yeah, yeah. So think about it. At that time, like, was we another reason it was hard for a date? Was like at that time, was a lot of dudes like fear of commitment, like real commitment, like like being locked <laughs> in something. Like, I love being with bitches. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I don't think we just. I, I did. I like. We I were think. free. It was. I don't think we. I don't think we even. It just wasn't a fear. It was just something that we didn't want. But that's still that fair. We were running the streets. We was really running the streets. But that's still you know fair I mean? commitment, though. Huh? You don't you don't think it is? What? Not being like running the street like you fair commitment, commitment. avoidance. Maybe yeah, like no, nah, I think we were just having fun at the time. I think that I think that we really knew that there was a lot of fish in the sea. The majority mm-hmm. of them were female fish. You know what I'm saying? And uh I mean, there's just two types of fish. There's males and there's females. Yeah, but what there's, males. The... <laughs> there's more. There was more females than males. When you think about okay. it, males, like males too. You know what I mean? I mean you're right. You I guess I mean? there's a bunch of fish, and we all fish. There's more women than men. I thought you said you like males too. What the fuck? All right, yo. <laughs> no, I swear to God, you ain't see me look at them like this nigga is crazy. I'm like, hold up, we talk about female fish. I know we all like female fish in this room, bro. If you had the same detector for male to male draws, he <laughs> 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 got no detector. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You got draws. I don't give a fuck. You got iron Kevin, box. No, I don't give a fuck what you got who, on. Oh, <laughs> who got draws on them? Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Seventy-five percent of these niggas ain't got draws on them. Uh. Yeah. Like, stay away from that nigga. He ain't got no draws. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a high percentage of men that to have draws. Nah, nigga. Like, yeah, where you been? You real, at? Like, you're a real savage. You come out the crib. <laughs> I ain't looking at the draw, but you real savage. You come out there with no draws or like you just some savage shit, dog. You but some... no, nah, when we was younger, bro, we just did we me, me and you just did whatever we wanted to do. I don't think we really even thought about being in a relationship because oh. we just had the opportunity to do what we wanted to do every single day. Yo, wh- where was we at when you fucking ran into the ocean? Like, what the fuck? Who's we with? We was talking to two, so me and this nigga, we was in AC. We just stripped down to like our underwear and just ran the ocean on some chicks because they wanted to see what we looked. Oh, look. oh, oh. We was fucked up that night, too. Who was we with? Uh, night then. Oh, man, I think I know who we was with. I'll say that off camera, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know who we was Yeah, with. I, I was think we was. Uh, but, yeah, that, but I don't think it was like, like when I say fair of commitment, like, like being locked into something, like, you know, not having that freedom no more, like not having that freedom to keep Talking to different females, like you feel though, like man, I didn't lock in with this motherfucker. Like my freedom is gone. Like, um, I think you're more afraid of the nah. commitment when it comes to the particular person. Like, there could be a person that you deal with, and they might want to be committed to you, but you don't want to be committed to them. Mm-hmm. But you can find somebody else and be like, yo, I need to lock this down. That's the one. Yeah, but yeah. You, I, I also believe in their twenties. You, you should. You should date. You should experience. You should, like, I, I, I truly believe in that because I believe the people who usually are locked in since high school, that's that's usually the people who are going to cheat because they yeah. never had that experience. They don't under. So when somebody else come and get their attention, now now it becomes, you know, what I'm saying. So I, I'm a big believer in uh, dating dating in your twenties, like dating and experience and shit. Don't lock yourself down. Yeah, yeah, you know what? And you're right about that because it's like shit. Like when using your twenties and chicks hit you with that, like that, like hint that they wanted to give you some pussy, you was more or less inclined to take it because it was like you're young, you're like you really not committed to anything. You're like, I'm just gonna take it. She offering, I'm gonna take this shit. Like I ain't really with nobody. Whereas now, in me in my forties, just like, yeah, 
least she think I still look good, but <laughs> I ain't really interested. You ain't fucking up what I got over here. I'm good. That That's the mindset I'm in now. But the dudes that's been, like you said, think about some of the niggas that's been dating since high school, the same girl. Like, I mean, unless you got a bad one, some of the dudes is like, you be always hearing their girls on, on, the, on social media, like, talking shit about them. How many people do y'all know that's still with their high school sweetheart? I'm, I could probably think of one uh, if I if I really think I could probably think know, of one. We all know one. I don't they, know what you're talking about. Oh, I know one. Y'all know him though. G Lambo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But he yeah. but he got a bad one. Shout out to G Lambo, man. You you, Boy, G, he you locked, gotta watch yourself. I ain't disrespecting him to say he, he did a G like, that, no. You know he G did, I, G did a G hug you and I know he would kill me. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I, that's why I said it respectfully. He he has a beautiful wife. I wouldn't nah nah he, he a, takes the compliments. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? He know he know what's going yeah, on in his he, world. He has a beautiful wife. Shout out to G. That's one of one of our good supporters and Friend of ours, yeah. Absolutely. Every time he come to Jersey, he don't see what's up with your boy, though. That's crazy, though. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You always hit me with the next time, but all right, I nah, see what nah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that too. But I, can, but you can, <laughs> but you can see, but you, but you can look at his relationship and see that is a like it's a healthy, good like relationship. Like even like because you can see when niggas is fake with this shit on social media. You can see like like you look at the female, she got the bags under her eyes. The kids don't look like they really want to smile in the picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's some kind of dysfunction that you can pull out from the picture that you see. That but shit they right taking there. Taking pictures, nobody smiling. The what? kids <laughs> mad. Yeah, uh, like, what? You can see the dysfunction in their household. You can see in her face she looks tired of this nigga. She doesn't hey, look yo. like she looks like she's in full of life with him. You've seen pictures of people that you know their relationship. Just look at some people who know their relationship is fucked up. And then look at the picture they took take together. <laughs> she, she I'm trying tired. to say, I don't know who relationship fucked up. I already know. I know some, and they just look tired. They look tired. I know some fucked up relationships right now. <laughs> don't they look I know tired? Some, I know some. I know some fresh relationships that I don't even know why they're still together. And they look tired. They just argue. They, they look just tired. Argue. I don't even understand why. <laughs> I mean, I see. I, I, I know why they're arguing, but it, but it's. It don't make sense to me. And it'd be like, mm, y'all just toxic. And the fact that y'all just keep going on with it is shows me even more how toxic y'all are. But they look at their face. The face. Look at their face. Look at their face. Look at the kids. It's like People it's man. It's all man. Somewhere. Yo, why would you sacrifice? You know how long it took me to understand that I've been sacrificing my happiness out of obligation mm. before I decided to live for me? That boy cooking right now, huh? No, for, on some real shit. Kev, Kev the same way. Nigga, Kev, I've right. watched Kev just feel obligated to be in a scenario and not be happy. Mm-hmm. And yes. and and finally understand, like, yo, I need to do this for me now. I can't mm-hmm. I can't do this for them no more. Mm-hmm. It really took me a lot to understand that nobody can make me happy. A person, mm. one single person can't make me happy. I have to be happy with. A lot the way of I want to do things. I'm not always happy with myself. There's always things I know I need to work on. I go through depression. I, I've told people, I tell you all the time, I go through depression like a motherfucker. So there's times where I hate myself. You know what I'm saying? But but I know that a person won't just make me happy. It's the things that they do that I that makes me happy in the scenario. Like my wife makes me happy. She's a person that I want to be with and want to be around. You know what I mean? But She's not the not the factor of why I'm unhappy or happy all the time. It's something within myself. And in order for me to make her happy, I have to be happy f- with me. Mm-hmm. You know That's what I mean? Facts. So she knows when I'm down because if, if she's unhappy, she knows that more than likely it's because I'm unhappy. There's something going on with me that's affecting her. You know what I mean? But yep. I mean, not to say that she doesn't make me happy, but she is not the one that cures my happiness. You know what I mean? If she was to leave, I'd be sad, but yeah, you get time it. goes on and time heals all. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, I'm going to be okay. And eventually, yeah. she'll be okay. That's but before I can make her feel the way she wants to feel, I have to be okay with myself. I had to learn that shit because I was always doing stuff out of obligation for somebody else feeling like I need to do this because they do that for me. You know what I mean? And they're doing it out of obligation, maybe because they feel the same way. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got to be here. Oh, we're here for children. 
or we're here for you know what i mean none of that stuff if if you're not happy with your life and with yourself that relationship is done yeah it's done you know what i mean you ain't doing nothing but prolonging the inevitable and just wasting time and wasting energy and at at, at you and that other person finding and achieving their own happiness you know what i mean and i had to learn that shit it took me a long time to just sit back and be like, yo, you've been dumb for a really, really long time. Why don't you smarten up for a little bit? Mm. As soon as I did that, I found where I wanted to be. It's crazy. Oh, that's you the, know what I mean? Went to a lot of dating. So <laughs> some <of> revelations. <laughs> so it's some real shit. Yo, people, people say that shit. And you when you when you're just going through shit, you be like, man, whatever. There's so many times you'll tell somebody, like, you don't know what you don't know what I'm going through. And they telling you some shit that you actually need to hear, but you so you so stuck in your ways and you so stupid, stupid. And you feel like you have to you don't have to do nothing but make sure that you're OK at the end of the day. All right. You got to make sure you're OK before you can make sure anybody else is OK. 100 percent. Mm. That's facts. Facts. Oh, this is the last question, because this is just a wrap up question, because we about to get up out of here, though. On, so listen carefully on a scale of one to ten. One meaning one being you don't miss it. Ten being you you miss it like a motherfucker. On a one. scale of one to ten dating. How much do you <laughs> yeah, miss dating? One. You're one. not getting none of us in trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what's wrong with you, nigga. One. You ain't gonna set up no, no live so we I, can I, get I'm, volleyball. I'm gonna say one and I'm gonna say one because I'm one point five. I'm not I'm just gonna say one because it's like, oh, I don't miss the headache of the shit. I don't miss the all the bullshit that comes in with dating. I don't miss the the stereo getting stereotyped. I don't miss the the competing with dudes. I don't miss, you know, what I mean, the, the communicating skills, trying to communicate with them, the expectations. I'm, I don't miss none of that shit. Like I'm happy where I'm at, so I don't miss running that gauntlet no more. Like I, that's why I personally don't miss. I just don't miss that gauntlet. I don't think at forty I have that in me no more to be like, yo, I'm gonna make y'all. I gotta mad. talk to her. I gotta look good. Uh, Gotta say the right things. I gotta gotta listen go. to this bitch. Yeah, oh, like right now is like I understand my girl. Like I don't gotta be up her ass twenty four seven. These are all the things you have you to still do. Now. Do. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, yes, fuck you do. I don't. I listen I ain't to gotta her. Listen bitch. to this bitch. I ain't got to talk to this bitch. Like, nah, she can say listen, shit to me I, without saying shit. I'm at a I one because it. I still date now. Me and my wife still you know have date night. I told you I was gonna make him mad. Look, look, he mad already. Just listening. <laughs> you can learn something from this, Dre. <clears throat> Me and my wife still date now. You know what I mean? We have date nights. She expects to, to for me to talk to her nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? We go places. I mean, we only see each other on the weekends. It's crazy because we got two different schedules. I mean, we see each other as we're in the house. or But yeah, I work good. at nights. She works during the day. She's taking care of all the shit that she needs to do during the day. I'm taking care of all the shit I need to during the night and vice versa. And... We see each other in passings when she's going to work or when I'm coming home from work. So we need that date time, you know, at least a couple times a month to just bring us back. It kind of makes us feel like the beginning again. You know what I mean? We go out somewhere. My wife loves holding hands. She's definitely like, she just likes being up under me. Affectionate. <clears throat> Sometimes it, it, man, it's so hard for me to be affectionate. I have to, I had to learn with her to just accept it. <laughs> Cause I don't like people just, Grabbing on me and shit, and I've never been like a hand holder and stuff like that. Oh, you crazy? I used to. Nah, I've never been that type of guy. You know what I mean? But now, it, a person will make you want to do something that you weren't used to. The right person will make you want to be that person. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad. I, I'm glad I found mine. I mean, Kev found his. Psych. You've always Psych. been with you. Oh, oh shit! I love my love my girl. Love my oh, Cinnabons. Shit. I love my mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and come up with your names now, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I bet her name. She always not call us in the buns. Can't tell She'll you like, why. Yeah, you come. I don't want all you want talking that yeah. shit. You're not gonna get these glazed. Goodness gracious! <laughs> <laughs> you won't get no glazed. But it's, it's, it's funny. Like that. <laughs> she she hates the nickname, but it's always gonna be a nickname. Bro, she love it. Keep that nasty shit under your leaf. <laughs> Man, listen. Anything about that? <laughs> shit, dog. Listen, yo, man, listen. So, listen, that was another fucking episode from the Opinion Podcast, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed today's episode, man. Uh, man, we out this bitch. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. Peace. <laughs>